I was literally trying to clean my bum with the hand sanitizer. <laughs> I was in, I was crying and I was wiping my bum with hand sanitizer. <laughs> I don't go south much, but out okay. of south, Brixton is my favorite south. Okay. And it might be because of the crackheads. No. <laughs> what the f is that? What the f is that? Good guys, tis the season to be jolly and that. What are you saying? It's your girl, Madam Joyce in the biz. We are back again and we are feeling very merry. We are feeling very, what rhymes with merry? Larry, berry. We're feeling very berry, strawberry to be precise. I'm about to save that. <laughs> I save that. How are you guys? Merry Christmas and a happy Bumba Clark New Year loading. Honestly, I'm so excited to be here. I hope you guys had a phenomenal Christmas. I hope you had a good time with your family. I hope you chopped good. I hope the chicken was grilled and just not too hard because I'm kind of over Nigerian people and African people making hard chicken. I hope the chicken was soft and sliding like 2024 is going to be for everyone in Jesus name. Amen. But what's good? How is everyone doing? Like, honestly, you guys already know how I feel about Christmas. But guess what? I'm in Nigeria somewhere busting my bum cheek and popping my bum crack for the people there for the hoochie daddies. <laughs> Obviously, this is pre-recorded. I was going to lie to you and just pretend it's not pre-recorded. But you know what would be so funny? I'm here and I'm in my studio and I'm like, yeah, Christmas. Oh, I ate this. I ate that. And then on Christmas Day, you will see me do it. I'm going to put a girl in a logo. E come make a jar. I'm whining on somebody's son to Rema Charmed in the Sun. But yeah, I'm off to Nigeria. But for those who are here, for those who are abroad, happy Christmas. I had a good time. And to be honest, yeah, it's only right. Honestly, I feel like this is the first time I've ever had a Christmas. I've ever worn a Christmas jumper. Ever worn a Christmas jumper. And I bought this one. Well, my team bought this one. Thank you to Tia. It says slay the patriarchy, which I feel like is so fucking fit in so motherfucker slay the patriarchy but yes yeah, so let's start with our 2023 recap and i think it's only right because i started this year with this very special boy it's only right that we end it as well emmanuel how are you i'm good i'm good we made it 2023 do you know what this was such a drive-by what was your what was your most exciting part of this year for you um I feel like a lot of stuff happened this year. Yeah. Even thinking about it now, I'll say probably um, one of the most that I can think of from the top of my head um, was the live show. Oh my God, Emmanuel! <laughs> Listen, the I can't live show. The live a... show whew, that, that was a moment. The live show was a dream come true. The live show in July, no, June, the 20th, no, I lied, it was in July, the 5th, 4th of July, was literally such a dream come true. Emmanuel, can we actually process how much of a trip that was? Do you know when I realized that Emmanuel is like my people? When we did the live show, two weeks before, we all went on a fast. Me, my sister, Elijah, and I was just going to make it a family thing. But I was like, do you know what? Let me ask some of my team. And I said, Emmanuel, do you want to do a prayer and fasting with us? And he was like, yeah, actually, I'll do it. And I was like, I was a bit, because we, we we we're not really boys like that. No. <laughs> <laughs> but he said he would do it. And we did a, we did like a three, four, well, how long was the fasting? Three days. Yeah. Three days prayer and fasting from to 6 p.m. And we'd call, we'd call and then every person took turns to pray at the end. And I think that's when I realized now, nah, Emmanuel's my motherfucking guy. Yeah, Honestly, that, that for me, that moment meant the world to me. And just, just my manager fasted as well to 6 p.m. We were praying <laughs> and fasting for that show to be great. But was it a, was it not a time, Emmanuel? It was lit, man, from the beginning to the end. Even when it was done. I think <laughs> after when it was done, I was like, yeah, that was good. But you, then, I, 
like a month after, I was like, you know what? That was actually a moment. Like yeah. we digested later on. Do you know what? I think because we were so busy working and Emmanuel came Emmanuel came with me through the whole journey because he was do- he documented everything, which is somewhere. Anyways, we we maybe maybe one day we will load that documentary that we were supposed to load. Yeah, I forgot but, about that. Yeah, you can imagine. You can imagine. Me too, I forgot. We someone still has one of the hard drives, one of the photographers up till now. It's still sitting in his house, waiting to be collected. But yeah, um, documenting the whole thing. So just going through that journey of creating, Emmanuel came to the first the first um, meeting to seeing it finished. Nah, Emmanuel was cheesing. It might as well have been his live show, to be honest. <laughs> it literally might as well, but honestly, 2023 has been such an epic year. What was your moments? The live show, definitely. Yeah. Um, the new studio. I think this, this for me is a dream come true. Like, I swear, I always, when I first started, I was like, ah, one day I'll have my own studio. I'll have, and my name will be on a neon light on the wall somewhere. So I don't know, it just needs to be neon and it just needs to be bassing. I said, I was gonna say banging and bassing, but came out as bassing, that's okay. And yeah, I think when I first saw the studio, when, when we got the opportunity to create it and shits and gigs came, it was, Honestly, it that was that was the dream come true for me. Walking into a space that belongs to me for a show that the bad boys and girls can share with me and share the experience was a dream come true. So I can't lie, Emmanuel, this year was a bomb class. And then Emmanuel now being here as well. Me and Emmanuel, for the most part, used to work very remotely. So we'll just be calling each other on the phone and stuff. And we see each other at events. But now it's like we are just, we are stuck in each other's face all the time. <laughs> but it's been a great year. But let's talk about, let's talk about socials. Let's talk about, let's talk about the world. So I was thinking, yo, like, so much has happened, but you know, because the chaos come in, every month there's a new chaos, so you forget about the old chaos. But let's actually just, let's just recap some of the chaos that we actually experienced in 2023. So, of course, Beyonce started her tour. Emmanuel, did you go to Beyonce? Um, I was working there, remember? Oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Emmanuel was working at Beyonce, um, where was it? Where Tottenham. Was Tottenham. Yeah. yeah, I saw I saw Emmanuel at Tottenham and and um Emmanuel was pouring me uh get, giving me free alcohol, cheeky cheeky bugger, <laughs> cheeky bugger. And then we had Doja Cat, um, that obviously we knew Doja Cat as, you know, you know, the pop princess, the bouncy, flirty. And I think this is the year that she started shaving everything, shaving her brows, shaving her head, and started going very, very quirky and alte. So she had that, um, is it Chaparelli? that Chaparelli red dress and then she now put the diamonds. But I can't lie, I loved her in Paris Week. I feel like Paris Week is for the arts. And we've had this age where now Paris Week is just to be glossy and shiny and sexy. But I really feel like she brought back the artist, artisticness, artism. Is that the word? Artism. I think so. Sounds right. Per artism in fashion. So I love that. And then we had um, Summer Love Island, and we also had do we, know, we had some at Love Island this year, right? Yeah, which was which was a which was a chaotic time. And then we also had speaking of Love Island, Molly May and Tommy Fury. Listen, Molly May, like she is. If my life could be as smooth sailing as hers, from what it shows, because every everybody what they show and what they do is different. But to come on a show, have a successful career, and then have a baby. That's only January. Let me just pick out one highlight from each month. So Feb. We had those stupid, stupid, big f- red boots. What was that about? I have, to this day, I don't know. Like, consumerism? Consumerism is going to tear us to pieces. Because how does somebody make a stupid shoe like that, mark it as a thousand pound, and people are buying it? Like, people were buying, styling it. It's the, I blame the fashionistas, you know. Did you ever see it like live or in person? I saw it, you know, guess where I saw it? Shoreditch. Shoreditch, <laughs> where, all the, where all the hipsters dwell, all the hipsters. So I saw it and I was just thinking, like, is this the drip? Is this the swagger done that we're doing? It just didn't make sense to me and it still doesn't. I still see some people 
trying to bust a shoe and I'm like, I don't get it. Like, yeah. I'm, like people just want to be different so bad. And it's like, be different, but be different with brain. Don't be different with stupidity. That one is a stupid differentiation. Do you get Don't do that. And in February, I'm sorry. I, I, can I just say this was Ice Spice's year? Ice Spice really claimed this year. She had like two bangers. She had the song with Pink Pantress. She said that I'm good at it. What? That shit went bust out. Ice Spice? Ice Spice? Can we, guys, Okay, so I don't know that I'm here, like, and I'm not, I'm, I'm not sure because I'm a wig babe, innit? But is that Ginger taking a wig? No, I her think hair? it's a real hair, yeah. Is it her hair? I heard on the streets, I saw a tweet one time and they're like, oh yeah, that's a wig. And I'm like, do you know what? It is it? It, it could be, but it could also be her real hair. But I just, I, can I just say, I love Ice Spice. I think in terms of what she represents, the fun, she really bought, she really made, rap fun for the girlies like we had we had songs for days like i love how we're in the club right now the girls are in the club right now and there's actually bad b music for us before back in the day you'd see ah, yeah with my bros with my guys just step into the scene looking and it's like we would dance to it but it wasn't for us now we've got a plethora of songs. She said, I'm not feeling you. What? That nigga how much? Nigga ain't eating it, but like, like, excuse me? And you have you have man them. Carl, I'd be singing it as well. That nigga how much? Nigga, <laughs> like, excuse me? Like, I just, I love the scene right now. And I feel like I spice to someone who's really, really just making it fun and cool for the girls and giving us captions for days, giving us captions for days. And then in April, I'm gonna move on to March. I'm gonna move on from March. Do you remember anything that happened in March? If you remember something that happened in March, just comment below. But there's there's nothing really excited me in March, but I feel like March is just one of those like months, isn't it? Like what really is that? Pancake day? <laughs> You'll be making pancake. Do you know what, can I just say, why are we, pancake day to make pancakes? I'm gonna make it, but why are we? I never it? really even. I don't even. I know. feel like it's so cute when people like invest into that stuff. Like it's cute, but when you really deep it, it's like, why are we making pancakes? <laughs> 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 why, girl? Why are we making pancakes? But yeah, there was Pancake Day, and do you know what? March is. She's just not that girl, is she? March generally is just not that girl. It's like, why are you even here? To be honest. And then someone's watching this and be like, yeah, but my mum's birthday's in March. Well, fuck your mum. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm playing. I'm playing. But let's move on to April. So Jerry Springer died. Jerry Springer died in April. And I think when I read this, I was like, wait, he's dead? Like, I forgot. Did you watch a bit of Jerry Springer Maury in your era, Emmanuel? I, I always get them all confused. Um, Jerry Springer, there's another Jerry as well, isn't it? Or, Jerry, wait, is, Jerry is it Jerry? Spr Jerry Springer is that the guy that like Jerry, Jerry, Jerry? That the there's a live audience, people yeah, come with their problems. Yeah, and there's more, but it's not Maury. I think you're thinking about Maury. Jerry Springer's the one with the glasses. Oh no! Nah. And his show is so much more chaotic. Like I feel like a lot of them are paid actors, but you know what? I'm yeah. eating that because there's some some story like that's that's where I don't know if you saw the meme, but um. There's a guy on camera and he's sitting down and, and Jerry's like, is that your man? And she's like, that's my man. I'm going to stick beside him. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to stick beside him. That's my man. That's my man. And I'm like, that meme to me, <laughs> that meme to me is the most funniest shit ever. But yeah, Jerry Springer passed away. And then also, big up fucking Black China. She had her whole rebrand. She had her whole rebound. So obviously, Black China, we know her as someone to be very like problematic. Her mom is Tokyo Tony. Everything is just chaotic. She was beefing the Kardashians. She had a baby with Rob. Black. Like, black China was Tiger Pum Pum. Like that's Black <laughs> China. And then she just decided she she got herself together. She started like reducing the fillers in her face. She started like I think she shaved her hair as well. Can I just say? Every she did, she cut her hair. If I'm not mistaken, if I'm not mistaken, Angela White had a had a shaved hell girl moment. And I love when sometimes when the girls do a rebrand, they just it's like new me bold, <laughs> new me shaved. 
Like it's especially black the black girlies when you want to have not a rebrand like I'm trying to better myself. You know where life is hell. Life has beaten you. Life has beaten you to bumbo clat and you've literally flatlined. And you're like, you know what? Enough is enough. I've suffered. And then you have this like mental and emotional rebirth. And you're like, you know what? Yeah, let me just shave my head. I've done it before. That Britney Spears moment. I have shaved my head before. When you're just like, nah, I need to be a new person. And I just, you just get the one all over. (laughs) Shave it off and just, and just start afresh. And I love that for her. And then in May, King Charles gets crowned. Queen Elizabeth passes away. The queen of the Bamba Clarts, UK and all the lands that they stole, passed away. I feel like that's probably one of the shocking stories that we've heard. I feel like for everybody, that was the most shocking thing for the UK and probably the world. Like I'm sure some places didn't care, but in the UK it was like raw. Like some of us, she's some, she has been alive since the day we were born. Like we were born and the queen was still day. Like we knew her, we saw her every day when we were cashing out, cashing change. You'll see her face, Lizzie, Lizzie, Lizzie. The man them will be rapping about her, Lizzie, Lizzie, Lizzie. <laughs> like we, like we knew her. And then she just, she just goes like that. And then we went into this mourning phase and, and then all the shops were closed and we were like, girl, but you know, Primark, like, hello, like I'm trying to get my drip for the weekend. And then they started, I think they closed down the clubs as well, or they shut down the clubs early. So if, so what, even if you are sad, that Lizzie Lizzie has passed away. You couldn't bust you couldn't bust it open to have a good time to try and raise your spirit up. Because they closed the clubs, they they locked off all the licenses. They said, sorry, if you're gonna we're gonna mourn today by force. We're gonna mourn today. But that was crazy. What did you do for the for the King Charles Jubilation thing? Because I know there was bare like events and stuff. Is it? Mm-hmm. I tried to do something, but it was just like I don't know, like everywhere was just not doing what they usually do. Like, the hours as well was a bit weird and stuff. And you know what? I think also, even work, some brands stopped working because they stopped, like, doing campaigns and stuff because the Queen had died and it was crazy. But I can't remember what I did for King Charles's um, coronation. But you know what? Big up him and he's on the throne with his bad be Camilla having a good time. <laughs> and um, I, I don't think they've changed the money yet, have they? No. To be honest, if I'm being honest, I can't remember what the last time I've seen cash. Yeah, that's true. So even if even if they did, I probably wouldn't have even registered it because girl. And then August, we had Rihanna having her baby, and then Burner Boy releasing. Oh, and I missed July. I missed July. So we had July um, Twitter rebrands to X. Um, we had um, that girl ice cream so good. Um, and NSP NPS. What'd you say it? I don't know. MPS, like that thing where people like pretend to be like, you know, guys like they like gamers. They're like all these, all these insane. Oh, NPCs. NPCs. <laughs> you see those, and you know where it stems from? It's these incel boys <laughs> that have spent their whole lives. The incel boys that were cussing me this year, that was that spent their whole lives watching ga- video games that they actually don't know how. Will, real women interact because they always they can only see them through the tv screen the, the video game the xbox the ps4 so people and um, people started creating real life characters but mimicking these gamer personalities so we had um pinky doll who is an npc character and she'd like she'd move like the doll she'd be like ice cream so good thank you Thank you. And she was, and the thing is, these lot were making bank. Wait, were they actually making money? Because I saw it, but I didn't believe it. They are making bank pretending to be game characters. Because there are men out there that only know women digitally. They don't know them in real life. So when you're pretending to be that, it's like anime. Like, you know when guy when you when you bring a girl, when a real person pretends to be an anime character, it's like the men who are watching that, they only know women through animation and digital TV. They don't know how they operate anywhere else. Damn, my hand is dry. 
<laughs> nah. Guys, my hand is so ashy right now. <laughs> Anyways, we'll continue. We'll continue. They didn't know how they didn't know how to see them in digital. People were pretending and they're making money. Ice cream is so good. Yummy, yummy. Th that made that girl is so famous right now. Damn. Is she still Pinky doing it? Yeah, she's still doing it. Damn. She's making back. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for the rose. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what the f Anyways, any woman, however, any black woman, we got some other f coins. I'm a co sign it. We got all the women of color doing dumb shit, man. I f with it heavy. Make yeah. Hustle them. Hustle those men out for their for their worth. I love that for you, sis. But yeah, so just overall, from September, October, November, I haven't really been on the internet. I can't lie. So I can't even talk about it. You know, I was locked into that house for a while as well. So, but generally, like, I feel like this week, has, this year has been a very, very interesting year. And we've seen the highs, we've seen the lows, we've had people here, we've had people that have passed away. But overall, I hope everybody has had an experience that can they can take something good from whether that's been good overall or bad overall i hope that lessons have been learned and um yeah i've got some some questions here okay and i, w I just want you to guess like the most searched most popular most things of 2023 do you know it yeah i, I know the answer oh no manuel we're supposed to do it where we don't know it together oh Aren't you going to guess? I'm going to get. Okay, what is it? Cool. So the first one is most searched person on Google in 2023. I know last year it was Andrew Tate or Krishan. Yeah. I don't, this year, who is the most Googled person? Who is the most Googled person of 2024? Who just wouldn't shut up? I don't know. Is it... it so I'll, I'll, I'm sure it's somebody new. Is it, it's not bad. It could be Bad Bunny. It could be Ice Spice. It could be, because Bad Bunny's had a good year. Ice Spice had a good year. I don't think it's Cardi B. Do you know? I know. Is it, uh, I'm going to look. Elon Musk has had the most chaotic year. <laughs> <laughs> Elon Musk. Elon Musk has had the most chaos year anyone this guy you know when when you start reaching a certain age and you're like do you know what it. like <laughs> i have never known a man to cause this much rife i would i think i'm gonna guess elon musk you know cool so that's that's what you're locking in i'm locking in elon musk cool so that's incorrect number what? one is taylor swift oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> with over 28 million searches taylor swift and then yeah, number two and three is just Messi and Ronaldo with over 15 million searches. Do you know what? Yeah, big up all the Swifties, innit? Can I just say big up all the Swifties? But can I also get say I don't understand? Yeah. Like, I see Taylor Swift hype. And maybe because I haven't tapped into her music, but I'm sh I really i am trying to understand her, the why she's at the level... <laughs> that she is yeah. and I love it I'm always for a woman doing amazing things and she's young and she's cool but I'm still trying to get it like Beyonce I get do you get it because I was Beyonce <laughs> but Taylor Swift's one I don't understand it but she's the most such person yeah. this year yeah this year but what does she do I, maybe I know she, she dropped an album yeah or tour sign i know she's done a tour she, i know she's done a tour yeah she dropped a movie a document a documentary of the tour okay but i don't i need do you know what yeah i'm gonna keep my comments and i'm gonna i'm gonna listen to her album i'm gonna actually listen to her music and i'm gonna come back and be like i'm with it or i'm not with it so i can't really speak on it but let me let me load up let me load up her shit first <laughs> cool next one <laughs> Most popular so social media app in 2023. Oh, I know this. I know this. Now, I know that Threads was the fastest one, the fastest growing one. Yeah. But I don't know if it's the most popular. It's definitely between Twitter or Threads because of that big fucking beef they had this year um, where Twitter was down and then Instagram hired ex-Twitter employees to build this threads app 
I'm, oh, I want to say, uh, I want, do you know what? I'm really bigging up Elon, you know. I want to say Twitter, but I also want to say Threads. I'm going to say, I'm going to say X. I'm going to say Twitter. Cool. That's incorrect. What was it? It's Facebook. Oh, for fuck's sake. With over 3 million users. It's still Facebook. Users. Yeah, it's still Facebook. Facebook has been going strong for years, you know. Damn. Big up all the over 30s, man. <laughs> Big up all the over 30s still using that shit. I can't remember. So I only ever log into my Facebook when I want to laugh at my throwbacks. I don't no. ever. When I want to th- laugh at my throwbacks, I'll go and watch. I'll go and read it. What was two and three? So two was YouTube. Okay. And then three was WhatsApp. And okay, YouTube is owned by Google. Yeah. But then, what's his name? Mark Zuckerberg. Yeah. He's busting, man. He's <laughs> yeah. busting. WhatsApp. Yeah, I thought TikTok would have been top three or something. I don't know. Is this in the UK or globally? Globally. What? WhatsApp, Facebook. Okay, cool. cool. That's cool. And then I'm shocked to hear that. Next one. Most stream song of the year. Ha <laughs> If it's a Taylor Swift one, I'm gonna bug out. <laughs> Seeing how do you know what? Yeah, I need to come out of my little woman of colour bubble and I need to step into mainstream. Because I am going to guess. Okay. I don't think it's Taylor Swift. Harry Styles had a very good year. Mm. Watermelon Sugar was a good, was a song that I just could not stop hearing. Who else is in that, in that genre? Globally. Yeah. It could be Adele. It could be Adele had Adele dropped this year and she had. A, I'm gonna guess Harry Styles Watermelon Sugar. Cool. So. <clears throat> It's actually Flowers by Miley Cyrus. Really? Yeah, I haven't heard it. Have you heard that song? I could buy myself flowers. I knew it was in that ray. I could buy David the set. Okay, I Damn. can see that. I can see that. And then number two was Kill Bill by Scissor. What? <laughs> yeah. What? Pick up Scissor. Yeah. That's so cool. And then number three was As It Was by Harry Styles. As it was. Okay, cool. I'm, I thought Harry Styles would be up there. He's had an amazing year. Yeah. But okay, I can see Miley Cyrus, Flowers. Okay, I've got them all wrong so far. Scissors, <laughs> Scissors surprised me, but I'm very proud to hear that. You know, some people like say I look a bit like Scissors, which, do we fix it? <laughs> yeah, um, so, okay. Th- there's, there's some resemblances. Just shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Just shut up. Okay, what's the next one? Most watched series of 2023. Oh. Bridgerton was very good this year. I know Bridgerton came out. I feel like it's... Oh. um, I know it feels like it's a Netflix one. And this is not... It didn't have to come out in 2023 but it was the most watched in 2023 oh it didn't have to come out in 2023 yeah it was just the most watched in 2023 i am gonna say the office wait what i i'm gonna ah uh, i'm gonna say the office cool. all right all right that's incorrect jesus christ what is it squid games no nah, f- i was gonna say squid games <laughs> And then, yeah, Wednesday, number two. Yeah, that was good. And then the Jeffrey Dahmer story as number three. Okay. Okay, so we have two Netflix. We have all of them on Netflix. Oh, Wednesday's a Netflix? Yeah, uh, Wednesday was a Netflix one, yeah. Oh. And then the last one is the most common slang. I'm really shit at this. (laughs) Most common slang words in 2023. I feel like we had this in Are You Smart? Is it not Riz? Most That, That was... In the dictionary. dictionary. Yeah. Most common slang word. Most common slang word. Guys, this questionnaire is beating my f- bumba clock. <laughs> Most common slang word in 2023. Slang. What have people been saying? What have I loaded up? Slang word. Yeah. It's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna f- me if I don't get it in it. Mm, like, is I think I feel like it's one of them ones where you hear and you be like, okay, that kind of makes sense. Oh, 
I haven't really heard you say the word though. Oh, what is, I don't, this is, I don't, slang. Slang word in 2023 that everybody used. Do you want me to give you five options and then you guess? No. <laughs> slang words that everyone used. Me, I just keep thinking about purr, but purr is old and I use that all the time. What words? Emmanuel, I don't know, you know. You giving up? I think I'm going to give this one up. Cool. So the number one word is sus. Shut the f*** up. <laughs> really? Yeah, it's sus. What's the second one? Bet. Yeah, I bet. Yeah, cool. And then the third one is ye. Ye? Yeah, ye. How do you use ye? Um, the definition is to violently throw an object that you deem to be worthless. So like ye. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. I, I ain't really heard no one. Maybe that's like I, that's an, That sounds side. like an America thing. Yeah. Bet is something I've heard. And then Sus. four is salty, five is cap. Okay, cap, yeah. That's Cap. Cap should have been, like, number three. Yeah, I thought Cap would have been, like, higher. I thought it would be higher, because I hear that a lot. What was the fourth? Um, Salty. Salty. Don't hear people say that. Yeah. That that person's salty. No. <laughs> no, that's the... Fam, we need to do better. We need to do better with the slang next year, if that's the case, because how is that one number one? Sorry. But, yeah, I think I'm ready to move on and go to the couch and, and talk to our very chocolate guest today. Super, super excited. Don't go anywhere. And I'm going to start sipping on these drinks because, girl, I need me some liquid confidence, actually. It's CNT, baby. Right, guys, we are back on the sofa. And of course, do you know what? Yeah, I kind of love, I love the end of the year because everybody's, everybody's giving gifts and giving presents and stuff. And I think my team knows me enough that, that there's one thing I like more than anything in the world, and and that's some chocolate. You know, I just I just love me, I just love me some chocolate. So it's only right that today's guest is a multi-talented person on the scene. His sound is iconic. His style, his eye for creativity. He is a amazing force to be reckoned with. And not only that, he is also a performer. Guys, he is the gift that keeps on giving, and he's my he's my gift today. It is the one and only Mr. Koji <laughs> Radical. <laughs> in the diesel. Yeah, 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 yeah. In the diesel. How I'm, are you? I'm hot. Can I take this off? Yeah, show the show. Oh, show the show the arms. Yes, let's Thank see you. the tattoos. Do you know what? Yeah, I'm slowly becoming a fan of just a, a tatted, a tatted skin. Do you know what? I yeah, I was, <laughs> I was one of them people where like, I was like, I'll never get tattoos. And then I got one and then got 11 the next year. Do they mean anything? Some of them do. Do you want to share? Um, so that was the first one I got was this one, small one. It says endless for okay. people that can't see. I got that in Brazil. Um, and it was an, a Bong JR song that I kept listening to every time Amazing. I was there. So I was like, get that. And then I got these numbers, which are... Um, I had a friend that passed away. These okay. were his two favorite numbers, so I got them. Amazing. Then I've got like weird stories about a couple of them, where I don't. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh wait, the story is not as it's yeah. Not as clean I mean, as okay, I well, this one's simple. I got a go. I'm a Capricorn. Okay. Um, so I got two. I got two women on my arm. One's like laying down. Are they naked? Just, one's naked. One's just a face. Okay. Um, I know both of these. I know both of these women. I don't talk to them anymore. Wait, but- <laughs> hold on. Wait, wait. So you have women that you don't speak to tattooed on your body forever. Yeah. You see, this is why I feel like I feel like I'm insane until I meet people. Then I realize no, the no, that sounds, no, a range. There's a range. It sounds crazy. It sounds like oh no, like it wasn't. I didn't tattoo them because we was like dating, and I'm so in love with them. So like, I like this this lady. I got <laughs> <laughs> I got this tattooed before I met her. I'd seen her face. So I designed the tattoo, but originally this, the figure of this was a white lady. Okay. And I was like, I'm not sure if I want a white lady tattooed on me forever. You need a big, bo- you need something with a big booty. I need a black woman. Yeah. So I just found the most beautiful black woman I could find. 
she was in South Africa and I messaged her and that's how our friendship started. I was like, can I can I get your face tattooed on me? She was like, yeah, go for it. To be honest, the story makes it even weird. You should have been like, I was in love with her. Nah. I knew her. She was the love of my life. Because you now telling me that I didn't know her. But didn't I know just her. got her. But we don't know. Like, come on now. Like, nah, there's so many things. Like, if that, I got a leprechaun tattooed on me, I don't know that leprechaun. No, but that, that's different. That's folklore. That one is religion. What do, do you mean? It's, the face is still based on someone. Someone could walk past and goes, that looks like George Clooney. Have you got, would you ever like, if somebody was to get a tattoo of you, like, would you ever be like, okay, like. <laughs> People have tattoos on me. Really? Yeah. I actually met a guy in Australia who's got. I think. I think he was. T- I was tattooed on the back of his leg. Do you know that? To me, like, how how do you even receive that? That tattoo was cold, and I said I'd get it. I want that tattoo. <laughs> that tattoo was fire. <laughs> that, that tattoo was fire. And what's crazy about it is this: I've seen the same tattoo on a girl. This girl's got it tattooed on her fire. Like she's got. A t- <laughs> It's right there, yeah. How does it feel to be beautiful? Because, like, <laughs> people getting your face tattooed. It was, to be fair, it's not even about me being beautiful. I have to give credit to the artist that drew it. Okay. It was a sick drawing. Um, I think his name's Fred. Big up, Fred. Cause somebody, I'm sorry if it's not Fred. Honestly, <laughs> I feel like if somebody was to tattoo my face, I'd feel a bit disturbed. I mean... Don't I, I'm sure nobody's thought about it, but if anyone's you ever know what, had you that thought, it depends. Like if I really, if I hit you up in the right way, and I was like, Joyce, like I would a sick idea. Yeah, I just need your face. Yeah, but where though? Shoulder. But your your arm is different. <laughs> <laughs> like, 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 it's where, curtains. Where, where, it's wait, curtains. Well, see, you got you got the bicep. Like okay, cool. If you're gonna put a tattoo of me, just make sure you you know the bicep is strong. The yeah. tricep. It's like, creepy if you find the person creepy. Yeah, okay, if they're fine, then yeah, but if you're like, if you are if you ain't got the bicep for it, like, I feel like my face should just be for people with strong arms. Strong arms. <laughs> strong str- arms only. Strong arms only. You- but I, I want to, <laughs> no, it's fair. It's fair. That's, that's. I, I couldn't like- imagine anything worse than a girl telling me, your arms aren't strong enough. <laughs> 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 need to get me tattooed no but it's fair because obviously like if you if you've got a bit of me and my face is quite round anyways mm. if you've got a bit of me and you've come to put more meats on the meats it's not mm. gonna like i need the i need the bicep right. to make me look chiseled yeah, yeah, yeah. do you know what i mean like oh, it yeah. needs to we need to look like we mean something mm. but i'm i'm I think I'm already starting to be a bit licky licky on these. That's I can't what will happen lie. with these because they taste nice. Right. So Koji says, Koji is one of the only people on this whole show ever that says he likes sour cocktails. It's not sour. To me, this is sweet. Like, we, what, guys, I kid you not, I'm currently sipping on a grapefruit cocktail. Paloma. It's lovely. This, is that what they call it? Yeah, Paloma. Paloma. See, I've never even heard of the name. Great. I've great never. Name. Paloma. Goes down a treat. I'm just, I'm just not, I'm, I'm not feeling it. So what, what? So you said what? Strawberry daiquiris. Yeah, strawberry daiquiris, pina colada. Like you know the sweet stuff that's like there could be alcohol. There could, could not, not be. I guess we'll find out. Like, Next time. <laughs> like, <laughs> I guess we'll find out in two hours. Exactly. But can I just say you look amazing? I love this diesel, diesel, diesel you got going on. Thank you, thank you. And can I just say I'm just. I'm just loving the fashion era you're in because I mm. feel like I've 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 seen you for a while, but I feel like over the last, I'm gonna say two years is where you've really been iconic in the fashion space. Yeah. Funny enough, I'm gonna snitch on my manager Jess, and I remember the first time we she's looking at me. Yeah, bitch, I'm gonna snitch on you. I, guess. I remember the first time um, we saw you at the first Guap Gala. This mm-hmm. was such a memorable moment, and you wore the most sexiest. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. You wore this turquoise. Why? The why? Turquoise, that's, um, that is instilled in my brain. You oh, wore a turquoise yeah. suit, double breasted. Yeah, you yeah. oiled your chest. No, you it was wore the, no yeah. shirt. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> You looked amazing that night too, Joyce. I don't feel like that was... Do you know what? That was so chaotic for me because mm. while you were looking incredible, the first Squat Gala, mm. my zip broke. Uh-huh. Um, my zip broke and me and my manager were fighting for our lives in the toilet trying to figure Figure's out what out. to do. But Honestly, you- I, like, I, I don't envy girl glam. I feel like I get away with fashion because men's fashion is kind of relatively easy. You think so? Yeah, just put it on. If it doesn't work... It didn't work. <laughs> no, <it's not> <laughs> I feel like there's a lot of there's a lot of 
still like brain power you need no, to put there things is, together. No, there is. And there's, it's, it's very nuanced in how you can make a, a, a male fit come together. Yeah. But it, it's still without a lot of the effort. Okay, that's right. I, I, mean? I, can un- I can understand that. So like, so like, even like, it's like, for example, there'll be certain things where you have to factor in that, mm-hmm. that girl glam takes 10 times longer than, do you get me? You're right. Yeah, whereas like, oh, we need you guys for set in like 10 minutes. Oh, that's cool, I'll get ready in five. I'm looking at your build and you remind me very much of my friend Victor, that you can come in with a white <laughs> t-shirt and jeans and still look like Victor. an icon. Victor's amazing. He is absolutely he's incredible. Iconic, yeah. But he's one of those people, he can buy a white, he can go to the club in a white mm, tee, mm, mm. a regular jean yeah. and shoe yeah, and yeah, look yeah. like a fashion icon. I can't, I've stole a couple of looks. <laughs> <laughs> keep it a stack. Yeah, just keep it, keep it, a, a, stack. Keep it a buck. I remember when there was, there was a guy who's also big in, he's got dreads, he's light skinned. Right. Um, And I can't remember his name, but he's, he's absolutely amazing. And he was like, that he, like outfits look better on men who are more slimmer built mm-hmm. and i don't know what you think that are you are you for it do you think the big boys are really giving the looks honestly so, uh, soon i'm gonna be a big boy stop it why it's time really yeah, yeah, yeah. this this is this is not my final form really you know? no when we're talking about but where do you see how do you see yourself um, just wham, just wham, just really just wham beyond belief. Like prison, I've just yeah, come out of prison. Like, wham. Yeah, that's what. Yeah, that's really. My next look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chin ups. I can't see it. I can't see it. Why does everyone say this? I can't see it. Imagine I me love wham now. Go now. on, try. <laughs> <laughs> Not the ground. <laughs> Come on. I can't see it. You know, Please. I I love your I <laughs> love your builds. And yeah. the thing is, I'm for, I feel like sometimes, like big guys, like they already, when you see them, you're already like, whoa, like you're already a bit, whoa. That's what I want. You want to be unapproachable. Do you know what it is? All right, this is what I, this is when I know I've, I can stop. Mm-hmm. <laughs> if I say, Joyce, I'm going to lift you up right now. Yes. And huh? you believe me. <laughs> <laughs> and you believe me though. Like deep down, you believe if this guy picked me up, I'm, we're not both going down. That's when I stop. Because right now, if I tried... <laughs> You're gonna be shaking. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not picking nothing up. <laughs> I'm not picking anything you know, up. We could try. We can. You know what? To be honest, there, you, 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 you're, 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 you're not as shy. You're not. You're not as weak as you think you are. <laughs> you know what it is? It's true, isn't it? Yeah. It's belief. If we both, we I both feel want like, it. I feel like if you, you know, sometimes adrenaline can be. <laughs> <laughs> adrenaline, adrenaline has had me towering like the, le- also, the leaning tower. Of and to be honest, and also disgrace. To be honest, there is nothing worse. And I, I've had friends that talk talk about me but there's nothing worse than you know you're trying to be sexy and a mm. guy's trying to be a guy and he's trying to carry you like you know cinema shit Myth. and they drop you they nah me. you have to that. you ha- really i've dropped a babe <laughs> when you mean drop are we talking like like the leg luckily, buckled or you both fell if you both fell me. that's hell Luckily, the bed was behind me, so it's more of like I've, you just crumbled, threw. I've crumbled backwards onto the. But there was no stability. There was nothing that could have stopped me from falling. And if there wasn't something to fall on, we both would have felt. The room is just got the smell of insecurity. Oh, you're was, insecure because I you're me. You, that's where it ended. No, like it doesn't end with it going. Like, oh, we laughed and had a, a night of coitus. It was done. You know what? That is the most. She went home. The vibe, ki- nah, seriously, because it's like you basically just called me a fat bitch. I'm still waiting for a text back. You basically, <laughs> you know, if that happened to me, you basically just called me a fat bitch. That's what no. you basically said. You ba- that's what you basically just said to me, and n- nothing is gonna happen after that because now I'll be freaking now 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 I'll be I'll be on top now and I'm thinking am I crushing am him? I am, I, am I am I squeezing him? I know. It. All right. <laughs> But yeah, you're from around here. You live. You're from East London. From East London originally, yeah. And you know what? Yeah, you do have a bit of a Cockney boy accent, just yeah, a twang yeah, yeah. of it. But I think the more people hear me speak, the more they realise. It's like this is a cock, this is a Cockney boy. Yeah. What's growing up in East London like? I mean, it was interesting. So I grew up in a place where people think people don't grow up. So I grew up in Shoreditch, it's like Hoxton, Shoreditch. Oh, you're a Shoreditch boy. Yeah, Shoreditch baby. But um, okay. but it's like. You're imagining Shore- Shoreditch tourists. As it is now, like very <laughs> As in people hipster, that come to old, Shoreditch yeah. from other areas okay. for their Shoreditch needs. Like when you live in Shoreditch, it's a very different experience. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Um, I lived in Hoxton Market. Amazing. So like Shoreditch was the top of my road. And then like the other way was like Murray Grove, um, Haggerston, 
whatever, where again, like when I was growing up, there was a lot of, it was it was like a civil war a little bit. So you kind of just had to watch yourself. Um, and we was introduced to gentrification quite early. Like I remember the station being built, the Hoxton station. Okay. Um, but it was it was different. It was very community based. Like you knew, you knew a lot of faces. Now none of the faces are there. I don't know who lives there now. Do you know what? Can I just say gentrification is breaking my heart a little bit mm. because I feel like I, where did I, I grew up in? Where did I grow? I've been everywhere, mm. but I remember going to church in Peckham, the Nams. And sorry, I thought it would be cool if I said that. That really killed me. Did you that really, gang that really be cool as well. That yeah, that really killed me. <laughs> <laughs> that was so much cooler in my head. No, yeah. And I remember like being in Peckham High Street and just seeing, like, like you have like people that had like their shops, and mm. you'll see the aunties and uncles running around, and and you then you'll see like African shop and small boutiques. Now when you go to places, you hardly see that anymore. It's just like yeah. Costa, Starbucks, Tesco, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sainsbury's. Same thing with Brixton. Can I also just say side note, Brixton is very hell. I've not been to Brixton in a long time, but it, it always gave hell. Brixton is hell. My manager, my manager's from there and yeah, it is very gentrified. You like you come out and you see like Tesco and then you see like uh Starbucks and they've got all these very very lavish places they have the the um the big uh Shelby store with all the cosmetics but then like outside of that it's just full of crackheads I I <laughs> do you know what but I kind of in I don't go south much but out okay. of south Brixton is my favorite south okay and it might be because of the crackheads do you know what I do love a bit of ghetto fabulous though I must there, say there, there is something about it that's like wow <laughs> like, it's like I mean? wow, but it's like, like just no, just not no. Honestly, wow, like is it? <laughs> because tourist wise, like if you got to think about like, I've never been to this country before. Yeah, I've landed, and and I've got a friend in this 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 town, and they say, do you know what? I know this lovely place. It's called the Ritzy. Just get off a of Brixton station and walk up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know oh, what yeah. I'm talking. About? And just walk from the station to Ritzy. And I've never been to this country before. What I would see, see yeah. between there and there. You won't even want to go Ritzy's. You won't even want to go. You'd be like, what is the Ritzy? You, won't, you won't even want to go. because it's By like, that point, midway through the walk, you'd think the Ritzy's a corner shop. <laughs> you'd be like, what? I can't be going to no theatre. No, it's honestly Brixton. Yeah. Brix, Brixton. It's crazy, but I love it. Brixton is hell. Mm. And honestly, we I feel like this year has been incredible. And for you as well, I've seen you. You've been an international babe. You've been, you've been up and down. What's been your highlight of this year? Wow, um, I always I always go for recency bias because I forget stuff. Do you know what recency bias? I've recency never heard that, but crazy. I I I receive it. I'm gonna add it to my vocab. Yeah, yeah, recency bias. So recency bias be presenting the British Fashion Awards. That was yeah. crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? Wild. Please, please, for us, we because because we don't get invited to these things because we're not fashion <laughs> girlies. Well, we're, we're not fashion girlies. But right. for someone that hasn't hasn't been, what is that experience like being at the fashion awards and then also presenting it? Um, I mean, well, the first time I went was probably might have been two thousand eighteen. Okay, or eighteen. Or so you've been? Well, it was eighteen or nineteen. I remember mm. it was pre pandemic, and um, I get there the first time and I've been invited by a brand called Dunhill. Yeah, I don't even have a mustache at this time. I had a low cut. Um, and I'm in there and I'm kind of overwhelmed because I'm just going through the process a little bit. You do the carpet, I hate carpet. Same. I hate carpets. And then you're walking through this like big stair bit where everybody is. Like you're just seeing everyone, that's everyone, but everyone's in these big elaborate outfits and everyone's got five teams with them holding up the dress and like making sure the rain don't hit this yeah. person and making sure they're talking to the right people. And I'm just standing there. You, you went by, by yourself? Myself. Yeah, I'm more time, I'm by myself. Like, I proper don't... I always think if I'm in danger, I'm not meant to be there. So, like, even the other day, I was at a party and um, they've arranged security for me. And I've walked in with the security and then I've ditched the security and I'm, like, living my life. And I'm leave, like I'm leaving to go to the smoking area and the security guy's like, Where, where's, where's Frank? Where's, where's the security? I goes, mm -hmm. bro, if I need security, I'm in danger. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, if that, I'm not in danger, That I don't sounds need like someone that can fight. I'm quick. I can hit you nine times before you hit me once. <laughs> ba, 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 ba. <laughs> the, conf the confidence <laughs> is given. And then, and then I'm going to hit you nine times. I'm going to stand still and go. <laughs> and then you're going to go, Ugh! and die. 
Not even from the place I hit. Just. Do you know what's killing me? It's the form as well. You didn't go like this. You went like this. You said, I'm going to. Done. Dead. Also, what's like the only thing you can take from me mm-hmm. that is of value to me is my life. So if you want something, have it. There you go. There you go. <laughs> I mean, the watch was that. That's there you, there you it. Go. If yeah. I was ever in a situation where someone's like, "Give me," I'm like, "Yeah, man, you get a nice. Just don't make. Don't take it to no pawn shop. I talk to the person. Don't take it to the pawn shop." Get a good price for it. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Market value. Like market value. Do you know what I'm saying? It's, like, got, a bit, it's got a bit of a scratch. Do you know what here? I mean? Like, this ain't even to... the original Bez. <laughs> 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 the so you can't even. You're going to have to melt that one <laughs> down. <laughs> you don't want so that. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm done. So yeah, cool. Fashion week, security, you're by yeah, yourself. Yeah. I'm ba- I'm there. So the first time I go, I'm, I'm just taking in the experience. Yeah. Um but it's being hosted by um Ellis Ross. Yes. And um she's amazing. Incredible. Do you know what I'm saying? But that's a celebrity. Do you get me? Yeah. As a professional actress, celebrity, woman killing it. Yeah. That makes sense. When they've asked me to do it now, I'm thinking why? Like, not even in a bad way, but like, maybe sometimes there's like a little bit of imposter syndrome. Yeah, it, that definitely is. But like, I was genuinely shocked. I remember being out and um, and seeing the email come through from my sister because my sister's my manager. Her. And um, she sent it to me and I'm like, oh my God. But also I'm thinking, surely not the awards though, innit? I'm thinking maybe you want me to host like carpet, like, do the like, do you know what I mean? Or like a little quick little interview thing with a couple people in mm-hmm. some random section that you send them to and it's just me there or whatever. Something small, wet my feet. Yeah. Then I like read it and it's like, no, you're co-hosting it. And it's like you and Maya Jamma and I've had to sign these things and all that stuff. And I'm like, I've never hosted anything. Wow. Ever in my life. Never presented anything, never done anything like that. So what is this based on? Do you know what I mean? Like, where has this come from? And um, a part of that is almost me having to learn how to accept my blessings and not feel like everything is above me or outside of me. Yeah. Like, I just feel like I'm existing since the day I've started doing this thing. Just existing. Do you yeah. know what? I want to say uh, I want to say a fuck off congratulations because that's, that's a yeah, big crazy. deal. Thank but you. I feel like talking to you and seeing your personality, like that shit makes sense to me. I mean, it's starting to make sense to me. But I was like, I'm a very low-key guy. People don't, people are starting to see my personality now. I feel like you're Ghanaian, right? Mm. You're so fake quiet. <laughs> what do you mean? I swear, if Ghanaian people, like when you first meet them, I think that, I don't feel like for the most part, they're not, I wouldn't say quiet, they're reserved, they're observers. Yeah. Yeah, I feel yeah, like yeah. they're very much avert. They need to gauge the room before they start shouting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nigerian people, we just shout. We yeah, just, hey, yeah, 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 yeah. It, doesn't, it doesn't matter where we are, yeah, we we'll just yeah, start yeah. shouting. But I think you need to gauge the room and observe before before you start. 100%. 100%. But you start. So does that mean we're going to see you doing more hosting? Obviously, you're here. We need to, we, we know that you've got the personality for it. I think 2024 will be great for you for that. I would love to. I mean, I've signed, uh, I signed with an acting agent this year. Acting? Yeah, yeah. But How cool. It. Yeah, it's been sick. I'm with Curtis Brown at the moment, shout out Alex. And um, yeah, exploring that world. I take, I, honestly, I wrote a lyric before where I said, every blessing meant for me was not a minute late. That's how I live. If it's meant for me, I'll do it. And speaking of music, sir, when are mm. we going to get a new... A new album. When are we going to get a new thing? Before Ooh. we start, I'd like to shoot my shot. Please. So... I have a dream, yeah. Right. Obviously, basically, guys, um, Ferrero Rocher's, I bought Koji some Ferrero oh, wow. Rocher's. Um, he's upset about? He's upset because he didn't buy me a gift. And I would have got you a gift. Even though he's technically the gift, I'm very much happy that he's here. Like, I, I no, accept. This is my favorite chocolate. I knew that in my spirit. I could, thank you. My sp- spirit. The spirit told me that. And I, I'm very a hard person to get gifts for. Because I feel like I've got everything. But when you, you see, when you know you're king... Baby. You would deliver baby, the here. right thing. Not here, not here. But you know, but you know, I would, I, I, I will accept this gift from you. Mm. I've always had a dream, yeah, where mm. I would love to be a rap lyric. Oh, easy. 
I would love, listen, the day somebody writes a banging song and they're like, yeah, yeah, and I'm saying, Madam Joe, sip a cock, excuse me? Yeah. I would die. I would die on the ground. That's easy. It has to be someone, it has to be someone like you there. Don't, don't, don't watch stupid there. Don't want yeah. underground. Yeah. Somebody that went, like, I want to be in a club one day. You want it to be on a club song? I wanted to be in the club someone. So I was like, yeah, but I wanted to go like, yeah, but it just to be cut. Huh? And, oh, oh you you want to be the, the, the break, as in. They yeah, I want to be the break. Yeah, but it just to be cut. You've written no. the lyric. That's what I don't even That's know. That's the lyric you want it to be as well. We just managed to have a cocktail. I don't even know what it is. I don't even know what lyric, yeah. But I don't know. I just think it'd be so cool. Yeah. If <laughs> my name was the name, it's not every. I love ZZ Button. He's tired, man. He's tired, man. She don't want it anymore. Give it to me. Give it to me. I swear, yeah, I swear, ZZ uh, was. Everyone was saying her name on drill songs, and then she yeah. just was like, I don't even like drill. <laughs> 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 nah, honestly, yeah, ZZ has had some good lyrics. Yeah. ZZ, excuse me, ZZ has had a whole Stormzy feature, girl. Yeah, yeah. ZZ, the, ZZ, please just, queen, just, just give, just give us a chance. Just give us a chance. Give me, give just, me, the, just the, one. <laughs> I just need one. I got you. I got you. Really? We'll oh my god. Why don't you just come be on the album? I can. You want me to sing? <laughs> I mean, mean, just like, because you've got such a lovely speaking voice. Come say us some words. Yeah. Yeah. What should I say? Whatever you want to say. You know, I could... Wait. Okay, give me give me a topic. Um, Give me... What would I be talking about? You're you're giving advice to your girl who keeps going back to this man. Okay. Why'd you keep going back to your ex? It's not next. He is next. And when you step in the scene, he's going to be vexed. And when he's vexed, it's going to hurt your chest. What BPM is this? (laughs) <laughs> you, didn't, see, you didn't give me you didn't give me those yeah you didn't answer it you, didn't give <laughs> you, just, me the, you just jumped in like you know I mean? it's a smooth listen, tune straight, no, it's straight. smooth it's interlude vibes it's, it's interlude vibes yeah yeah there's okay. a piano underneath you and you get me okay, there's a little cool. telephone filter okay yeah, cool like, like, <clears> hello <throat> hello on. yeah sell it come on <laughs> Sandra why are you doing that mm, I don't <sighs> know girl honestly you need to do better he's just so fine purr <laughs> <laughs> but not so per. Not so per. You need to stand on yourself. <sighs> but it's cold. Girl, but it's hot girl summer. And you need to stand. No, you and then make sure the echo. Yeah. You need to stand up. <laughs> and I'll let it echo out. Yeah, you need to And then uh, you just hear, uh, bitch, it's October. <laughs> <laughs> Basically. <laughs> Get your electric heater on, girl. <laughs> no, honestly, I'm ready. I'm literally ready. I'll, give me the headphones right Say now. Less. Say I, less. Do okay. you know what? I feel like in another life, I could have been a rapper. Not my, a good like, one. My camp, my album camps are like, they're fun. Like, we go off What's the album the, camp? Uh, so I'll, I won't. So this is what I was saying earlier. So normally I make albums quite quickly. Mm-hmm. I just can't be bothered to like stress for that long. When you're so talented and skilled. Well, it's, it's more second guessing yourself as a creative. The more time you have with this thing, the more time you have to fuel it with doubt. And so I try and eliminate that and try to just do it in a cluster of just like, we're just doing it now. Okay. So the last couple of projects we did pretty quickly, whereas this one I've been taking my time. Um, but I never really make them here. Like we'll go off to the countryside somewhere, be in a residential studio. Why is that? Um, I don't, I don't, I don't care to hear what's going on. Okay. Do you know what I mean? Like, I want to be in a space where only music matters. And you you know you're making great music because it's the only thing that you have to feel. What I mean by that is like, it's, it's a difference where like on the way there, you got the radio on or you wake up or your Spotify's playing and there's constantly music being played at you and for you to catch a vibe, for you to be in a certain mood. If you want to be happy, you know, you can go play this or whatever. If we want a specific mood that day, we have to make it. Yeah. Do you get me? And so if by the end of that, we feel that, then we know we've made something good because we created something out of nothing. Whereas like when you're in the noise, it's too easy to be influenced by the noise. This person's charted, this, they're having a viral moment on TikTok, whatever. There's not even a reception. We don't know, I don't know what's going on. Has there been any time on your, on your, is everyone crazy? You see only people message me when I'm filming. No one cares about me outside of this. Really? 
I apologize. But has there been a time, even on your last album, where you where you where you second guessed yourself? You're thinking, mm. Mm. like, and how did you how did you combat that? It's funny because there was another version of Reason to Smile that I scrapped. Really? Because of I'm one of them people. Where one comment could like send me off the edge. So what was it on the internet or in your in your camp? Boy. It was your boy. Yeah, it was my boy. Wait, and, what um, did he say? It was I'm like I I take offense subtly. <laughs> like a so, true Ghanaian yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, you've not said something direct. He's not coming and been like, Rrr. he just said something and I've gone. <laughs> <laughs> Ow. Out. Where um, we played him like the original cut of what I was making. It wasn't even like the original cut of the album and it was finalized. It was just what I was making. Mm -hmm. And um, I got a record called War Outside and War Outside was in that batch. So I'm playing through the, the project and War Outside plays and then more songs play. And then he finishes and he goes, oh, that was sick. I thought there'd be more songs like War Outside though. And in my head, I was oh. like. What'd that mean? In, in, so now what that means in my head is War Outside's the best song. And so if the best song's here, what you want on average is the rest of the songs to be here. Yeah. So in my head, I hear the, the best song's here and the rest of the songs are here. So they're cool to hear until you hear this song and then it's a chore to hear the rest of it. Yeah. You want this song again. So we're starting. That one comment. Mm, starting. And you started the whole thing again. Yeah. But it's, bear in mind, Could I make music quickly. So yeah. like, that whole process, we're still talking in the realm of like 30 days. That's not quick though. It's a month to make an album. People take years. That's true. To be honest, I'm not an artist, but in a month, like, a no. lot can happen in a month. No, not in music. It takes years to make albums. It might take years to get someone to send you some stems. See, this is music lingo. What's a stem? Oh, so like, let's say now if I've gone and I've recorded a verse, mm -hmm. that recording, so like the recording of our voice right now is mm -hmm. technically like a stem. Mm -hmm. So like, if I've recorded for someone and I'm like, oh, I need the stems, I need the vocal parts, I need yeah. you to send me what I recorded. But like, oh, I've got to bounce them out, bro. And it's just like, and it's, <laughs> <laughs> delay, delay, yeah, delay. Just, and then, then I don't even care about the song. Would you do it again though? So, so, so since then, have we, like, you know, you always have the, uh, do you know what? Yeah, I love, I love the, I love our honest friends. Yeah, but mm. I also, I, I also side eye them sometimes mm. because we, the, you, we come to them for the truth. Mm. But sometimes the truth will have you scrap your whole album. <laughs> like, yeah, I know, yeah, I know, I know, I know. But good. I mean, the, maybe the one he made me scrap wouldn't have got all the nominations, wouldn't have got me a Mercury Prize, wouldn't yeah. have got me a Brit nomination and all that stuff. But like, maybe that wasn't the album. Maybe That's he true. was right. And technically, Broski was right. So So what's the so what's what's the obviously you're you're still cooking in the kitchen with the new album, mm. but what's what's the what, what give us the theme. Is it from your experiences this year? What are we what are we gonna see? What are you what what are you feeling that I'm like, I wanna put this experience into the song or these experiences? I think it's like, it's perspective. Do you know what I mean? And it's, mm -hmm. it's rapping from perspective and making sure we have, like you got to like, maybe I don't even want to blame fans or supporters or listeners even, but we connect music with moments in our life. Do you know what I mean? So if you fell in love with an artist when you was 22 mm -hmm. and he was making one sound, you're going to have a deeper connection to that sound or that person doing that thing. So later on, you might be like, oh, I, pref I, I miss when Koji would make this, that, and a third. I was 23, I was 24, I was 25. I'm 30 years old, do you know what I mean? And I feel like we need, or I personally need in my catalog, a record that encompasses what that is. Do you know what I mean? Like being 30 now, ha like n feeling a way about certain relationships or conversations or not really knowing what to do or, or Especially like 30 when I was a kid was like the oldest age you could be and still be alive. <laughs> right, right. I just, me, to be honest, I stared at you because I was thinking, that's big daddy age. I love that shit. <laughs> you try. That's, a, that's Life got better like, you're trying, to make, you're trying to make big daddy music. I was yeah, like, yeah, yeah I'm trying to hear that. Yeah, I'm we, trying to hear that. Yeah, we dress up nice for this, these, these songs. Yes, you know? indeed. Yeah, I, I remember just being young and thinking, that's like crazy. And then I get here now and I'm like, I'm an adult, but I'm not an adult. 
Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I feel that. This is, ad- adulthood is crazy. Adulthood is crazy. What? And you're just gonna tax me? On and top then of you're that, you're just gonna bill me. On top of that, and then you're just gonna stress me. In addition, do you know what I'm saying? And then, <laughs> and then oh. I know it's, <laughs> it's hell. It's hell. Yeah. But so you, so you have these moments where you, you just, that means you go, you're on the countryside for a month. No, nah, I'll do it in pockets. So I'll go, I'll do like twelve days, come back, go back to twelve days. Would you say you're a workaholic? I wouldn't say I'm a workaholic. I just don't know. I like I've been hustling. I'm a hustler. From day dot. And how does that? I don't know if you're single or not. Yeah. You single? You single? I can be. <laughs> me too. Would you like me to be? Would you like me to be? I ask first. <laughs> 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 but yeah, how does that affect your your love life? Getting to meet someone because. I, I'm going to say this, right? My life, my life is so fast paced. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That I would, that I feel like it, I, I, I always have this envisionment of, of, you know, finding a nice little nine to five, mm. minds their business person. But I just don't feel like it, it's, it's getting worse and worse, right? TR. It really is. Mm. Like we, she's looking at me cause she knows, Emmanuel knows. Every time I come to this studio, it's just like, what happened? And I'm just like, hell, like, do you have that same experience um, being an artist, being on the go, focusing on your craft and then trying to, Boy, trying get, to fit in romance? Do you know what? It's hard enough trying to get, people think, oh yeah, you're like, everything must be happening to you. Women don't want to date rappers. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> Facts. Women do not want to date rappers. Like, that's the last job. Out of all the jobs yeah. I do, I tell them that one last. Yeah. I'll be like, yeah, I'm working fashion, creative direction. <laughs> like, I'll add all these shuns. Shuns sound like. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then I end with like, and I like, and I rap sometimes. <laughs> and she's like. Oh, yeah, J- yeah, no, but do, I mean, again. can you blame the ladies? Nah, not at all. Can you blame <laughs> rappers? Not. Honestly, like the first thing I heard when I came into this industry is no rappers, no footballers. The footballers wouldn't want me anyway, so that's okay. You'd be surprised. I mean, like, <laughs> no, no, uh, footballers, but um, so I lost my trailer for I got lost you into your eyes. Like, yeah, sorry. I was like, oh my I? god, was like, yeah, I got lost in your eyes. I was like, oh, wow, awesome. thank you, but um. Yeah, I've lost my channel for guys. Sorry, what are you saying? Huh? What? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I've 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 literally just not even looked in that direction. But I I don't yeah, feel like not. you're the rapper that people are saying that you yeah, should date. Yeah, no, I get away with it, but I, it's that's techie. Me being a rapper is number one. What experiences um, have you had with that? But I've I'll have that like, like eventually I win. Do you know what I mean? So like okay. I'll get, I'll like, I'll get the date or I'll get whatever. Yeah. But in the process of that date, they, they will tell me that like, yeah, like I remember when you shot that time, but I just, you're a rapper. I can't, I couldn't. You, and then they clock that. I'm like, yes, like rapping's my job. Yeah. But I'm just Koji. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So, like, so I like to remind people that they're not dating the, like they're not dating Koji Radical. They're not yeah. dating this idea of, person in the spotlight or whatever like if you're gonna date me you're dating me yeah do you know what i'm saying and just kind of start from there do you know what i think as well i feel like people are a bit scared because it's like i'm a podcaster you're a rapper like mm. people come up to me and they're like oh my god I'm not, podcasters are scary that'd Ooh. be on my list of like undables are you kidding in me yeah. why is that though, but it's fine no you can't see you can't, <laughs> you can't sandwich it you can't be like i wouldn't say podcasters but you're cute but it's hell it's hell though why <laughs> because Oh my days! I feel like I know what you're gonna say already, and it's good. I know what you're going to say already. I know what you're going to say already. I know what you're going to say already. And the question that I have for you is that: Why do men feel like they're that excited enough for me to come on my show to talk about them? Because you're talking about bums on it. What do you mean? If I'm de- <laughs> like, yeah, but it's not, you know I mean? it's not your like if, a, if a dude can do trash and get a 30 minute segment, if I do all right, I'm, I can get a 10 minutes. <laughs> I, <laughs> I, do I talk about my relationships on the show? Allow it, man. See you, man. I do a compilation. No, do you know it what it is? There's sometimes, Emmanuel, Emmanuel <laughs> can vouch for this. There's sometimes, I'll be honest, I do go on tangents. Yeah. But I will, how many times have I been like, Emmanuel, I don't want to talk about that boy, cut it out. Right, right, right. I do 
Do a be- compilation you better nod your head well. Times. You better nod your head well. Why are you not doing this sexily? Why are you not doing this sexily? <laughs> they, I don't. I keep, I like to think I keep my my actual love life very private. I talk about topics like yeah, I'll talk about yeah, like but for me. Oh, brilliant. Yeah, go on. I talk about you know you know bum. I would do bum cheek maybe and you know here and there we have some fun. No, I I need to know from you because I feel like I'm defending myself actually hearing your no, answer. No, no. Okay, so Wait, go it's, on. It's, it depends on the type of podcaster. You know, if you was just doing podcasts about like self help. Yeah, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Self help and like what you do. I found myself helped many of times when I've watched your show. Do you know what I mean? And I enjoy myself. So. <laughs> ticking all the boxes but in saying that <laughs> in saying that there is like an element of like could I do it in theory no in reality maybe because I'm 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 a, I'm a loose cannon but on paper I'd be like mm, I am scared that I'm a fuck up on Tuesday and hear about it on Thursday but not from her <laughs> yeah. but from who from walking into the little staff room and hearing your voice because you're big you know <laughs> hearing your voice and the little speaker come true and, and, and I'm getting rinsed and then and I'm still anonymous but now everyone in the room's collectively rinsing me because like oh, I can't believe me. <laughs> what? nah you know nah, what I've, I've, thought... had, I've had situations to be fair I liked it but like where so I, I was so I've dated a comedian okay and I've ended up in a set. But like, obviously you wouldn't know, but I would know. Like from here, Yeah, you joke, would know, yeah. I go, oh. but like, even that's like, close. <laughs> <laughs> Comedian, yeah. shut it down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's interesting because I watched your BuzzFeed thing, um, your BuzzFeed where you were dating the, the three girls and the food and stuff. Yeah, 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 great and, episode. And it was, it was a very good episode, but you said you like funny girls. I do love a funny babe. So, comedian funny babe yeah. you're, you're confused i'm not confused you, you like funny be, you can, what so every funny babe needs a podcast you'd be out of a job no but no 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 not saying that but i mean like f- 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 it, it? <laughs> <laughs> listen at the end of the day we're both we're both paddling in the same boat just trying to just trying to stay afloat do you get me? Like I've never had to fight for myself like this, you know. Imagine I, how I feel. No, that's what I'm saying. The matter <laughs> must really be because I'm thinking raw, like you're yeah. because of my job, because of my occupation. Yeah, 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 yeah. And to be honest, yeah. And then do you know what's worse? Do you know what's worse? They'll be like, "Oh, you're a rapper," and I go, "Yeah," and they go, "Oh, when's your birthday?" And I go, "January," and they go, "You're a Capricorn." No, as if to say, as if to say, both of them together means just X them out. I'll be dead serious. When you were shown the tattoos and you said, "Oh yeah," because I'm a Capricorn, I went. See? He's a cat. I know. Why, why do we get so much bad press? Do you know what it is, yeah? It's because Capricorns are like, they're like old hearts. Mm. Meaning that when you want to go out and you want to fill a million steak, they want to stay at home and be looking at no, I love and be steak. looking at documentaries and be... I love documentaries too, babe. See, but it's like, which one do you love the hardest? I love you the hardest. Whatever you, you don't want do. me. Listen, don't confuse my feelings. <laughs> don't confuse me. Sometimes we can stay inside though. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I love? I, I think I'm a bit, I think I'm a very much an outside girly, not not an AAA outside mm. girly, but like I like experience. So, you know, let's go to the gallery. No, I, I'm the... with that. That's sick. I, well, I said outside, like there's nothing more attractive than a woman with a hobby. I have a hobby. What's your hobby? Too long. <laughs> <laughs> and you a liar. <laughs> <laughs> the bar. <laughs> Do you know what's so funny? We were talking about this the other week, yeah. And I just don't feel like girls have hobbies like that. No, can, if eating is do. a hobby. No. And it's not a cute personality straight. Stop putting that on your profiles, babe. No, I'm not. I'm not. I no. Take that off your hinge profile. Do you know what? If you're Why watching this I... now, go I really thought we was profile. gonna fall in love with this this episode, but I'm here fighting for my life. Fight go onto your hinge profile and take out that section where you say, like eating your happy. personality or food or whatever. It, take it out. Take it out. It's the same as when you're swiping along and you see my man in the gym and with his dog. You see it too much, it's X stuff. We're not doing it no more. Finish. I feel like eating is a personality. Eating is a hobby. Like it's, what if, what if it's like- It's a necessity for, for life. You need to no, eat No, but there's, there's eating. Like you can buy a Best Buy uh, you could buy a Best Buy sweet and sour sauce for 50p and rice. The one I used to eat when I was poor with right. no meats. Yeah. 
and that's food. And you ate it. And I ate it. And guess what? So to survive. Yeah. Or you could have experiences where you go to the restaurant, you'll try like wow, Mexican. Which is fine. Which is fine if that like again, hobbies, right? So hobby means you do that by yourself. Yeah. Meaning these nice restaurants, these plates and all that stuff. You take yourself on a casual Tuesday, you dress up and you go out and you eat it. And you might take your friend or you might say, yeah, babe, let's go eat because I, that's my hobby. That's my life. <laughs> that's my identity. That's my identity. <laughs> I eat. <laughs> I eat. <laughs> so you go, right? That's not what you might are asking for. You want me to take you where you've never been. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but you're, you're the friend, innit? What do you mean? Well, not, not at that point. <laughs> I'm a potential suitor. So that's why it's on the profiles. Oh, I like to eat. Oh, da, 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 because you want to see where he's going to take you and take you to this place. That if eating is really your thing, you tell me where we're going. Okay, let's. You got let, all the recommendations. Let's. You've been eating at bear restaurants. Let's flip that. Let's just <laughs> say I used to date this guy, this old man. He was an old man. He was like thirty-five. But <laughs> <laughs> thank you for saying that's not old. <laughs> and he used to love golf. Yeah. He likes going golf. And one day, he took me. Let's go to golf. Because it's my hobby. Mm. But we were dating. But we did it together. Is that not still hobbying? That's amazing. That's beautiful. So if I eat... So that's what I'm saying. You eat. So you know where the restaurants are. You know what we should be eating. Yeah, I I can recommend restaurants. Amazing, let's go eat. Yeah, you paid though. But that's not the experience I'm getting. No, no, listen. I'm a different league. That's okay. what I'm saying. When you when you locked off the podcasters, mm-hmm. you locked off the top tier girlies. That know where to eat. That know where to eat. That will give you the experience that you've been sitting at home saying, God, why why do you want me to die alone? Yeah, you're right, because you know. God is looking at you thinking the women the woman that I designed for you, you've said you don't want. So you don't want because they sit in front of mic. <laughs> because they sit in front of microphone, podcast equipment. Do you know what it is? Do you know what it is? And this is why this whole conversation around like flags and this, that, and the third, and boom, boom, it's dangerous sometimes because we okay. stereotype people into these archetypes you that you see? expect them to be. And they're not always Can like that. You, you, know I mean? you kind of got to give people the chance to be themselves. Thank you. Mm. I'm a cool girl. Yeah, no, you're right. Honestly, I said you was, I said not thing, you, not you. Other the ones. Podcast, other, other the podcast, the podcast girlies, they're cool. And let me tell you something if you're a good guy, listen, we're honest. Like, obviously, a podcast is just a conversation. If you're a good guy, I will come on this show mm. and I say, do you know what? I went on the most incredible date mm. with the most chocolate boy mm. and he was too fine and too delicious. You know what? Let me tell you why she's lying. Yeah. Let me tell, let me tell you why she's lying. Wait, let me tell you why she's lying. I can't remember where it was. We were somewhere. I think it was, I won't say where we was, but we were somewhere. I've seen you. <laughs> what did I say? <laughs> I've seen you, and this is what I know. When the when these hit you, you know how to talk. <laughs> you know how to talk. Because I'm finished this conversation thinking, raw me and Joyce. <laughs> yeah, I do you know what? Serious. Yeah. I, I, can't rem- I think I even had something of yours. <laughs> I remember that. Yeah, said, it might have been a wristband or something. Or a, a, a something yeah, you you had, gave me, what was it? You had my pass. pass. I know exactly where this was. And I was like, yeah, yeah, like, I'll shout at you. I'm going to give you back the pass, this, that, and the third, boom, boom. Next time I saw a dress. <laughs> Hi, that's, nice to meet you. No, that's, <laughs> no, that's not true. That's not true. That's not true. Let's break it down. Wait, 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 wait. She's Hold on. Guys. <laughs> I remember this. Yeah. And I said the most, I, I said something really naughty. Yeah, you said something crazy. I, said I wasn't like, scared though. I was, I was, <laughs> we just came and I just came back from an event and mm. I, and Koji had my pass from the event. Yeah. I don't know how I got it. I don't know how you got it either, but I saw you in the next place. Yeah. And I said, to be honest there, you guys would have been so proud. You would have been so proud. But when I saw she you- She was smooth after, though. At, <laughs> just a smooth with it. I was like, raw. <laughs> <laughs> I almost crumbled. <laughs> I almost yeah, crumbled. I'm a stoic man. I almost crumbled. I was giggling in Baby, that little venue. Baby, I live in yeah, my room, kid. <laughs> I really do when you carry yourself out. <laughs> no, don't let Dami, because Dami made you feel like you don't have game. You got game. 
Listen, Dabby's like my biggest hater. Yeah, Dabby I made can't me... remember what I said, but I said that is so yeah, it was, slick, yeah, man. It was smooth. And you and you just came from a fashion event and you were looking too chocolates, caramel, bouncy. I said na 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 na. Hold on now. <laughs> Hold on now. <coughs> Hold on. Wait I a remember. minute. Wait a minute, but I d- but I think the last time, the next time I saw you, obviously I didn't have the liquor confidence. I was yeah, shy. Yeah, 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 yeah. I lost yeah. it. I lost the Riz was in hell. Was, the yeah, Riz was bitch. in hell. And I was like, did I get spun? <laughs> That's what I just thought to me. I was like, I got nah, spun. the Riz was in hell. I That's was what shy. I, thought, I was like, I, got I was spun, shy because I remember. You know when you know when you say something really cr- really crazy and you see the person again and you're like, you've came to come and disgrace yourself. Can you see? Can you see? <laughs> like, like, so that's how I see. I was like, um, yeah, hi. I was with a bear shy. I was like, nah, I'm shy. I'm shy. I'm shy. Nah, it made me die of laughter. I was like, I'll just maybe I'll shit. I should because sometimes I think yeah, nah. I'm smoother than I am. So I'm thinking, nah, oh, what? Yeah, I'm in there like swimwear, <laughs> and then like you catch someone again, you go, uh, uh, you can't swim. Do you know what that is? <laughs> what? Balance. Yeah, true. You got, got to keep you on your toes. Like, you can't it's just true. can't just be just giving you, you up. People think my conversion rate is like 100%. It's really not. Really? It's not. 100%? I don't believe it. 98%. But so like, like my conversion rate is much lower. It's much lower. Oh, people think. <laughs> I thought you said people. No, nah, people think my conversion rate in terms of sh- shots shot and shots landed. People think my conversion rate is crazy high. Okay, what is it really? My conversion rate? Yeah. Boom. So like, let's say now I'm at the three-point line. Tap tap, step back. I'm at a cool fifty-six percent. I the, mean, from like, the from the three from the from from the free throw line, like far back. But that okay, I'm like eighty percent. So, 80% so from how the would throw. you how would you 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 like someone like reenact like what? How would you approach them? <sighs> Do you know what? Thinking about this, you're absolutely right. You know, because I just, I just thought of another yeah. interaction that we had, yeah, which is, you. which is killing me. It's not great. I, th- I remember all of it. I was like, okay, wait. I wait. thought, <laughs> I thought I'm <laughs> really <laughs> ugly. <laughs> no, 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 no. Do you know what? No, no, no. Do you know what? It's true. Do you know what you're saying? It's because I'm like, no, fifty six percent is quite low. Fifty six percent. Yeah, my conversion but rate's not that high. It's. Uh, do you know what? So we were at we were at Guap Gala, and I was sitting next to my manager. My manager always like every time it comes to you, me and my manager always together. And I was I was wearing that mesh brown dress. Mm. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, I know you do. And I was looking around. I said, "Wow, so many black faces. This yeah. is great." Yeah. And I see you shh, to the distance, and I see you yeah, like right. just you just had eyes fixed on me. Mm-hmm. And I said, and I looked at you, and I was like, it's too far to say hi. And I looked away. <laughs> <laughs> he remembers. <laughs> he remembers. <laughs> I looked away, and I was like, yeah, just fucking this cocktail. Speaking is of which, <laughs> <laughs> I said this cocktail's banging. Like what? What we say? Jello fries that. I do I, remember this. <laughs> Twenty minutes later, I, I'm looking. Wow, the atmosphere! So many black excellence in the room, and I look, and Koji is still looking at, but it's still like looking. fixated. 100%. And I'm now looking at him because I'm like, and obviously now we're looking at each other, and I'm like, ah. she doesn't leave her table. Or not a... Should I stand for you? I want to see it. <laughs> <laughs> It never happened before. I, I said, I'll get my revenge. I said, I'll get my revenge. <laughs> Today's the day. Koji could what? not stop looking at me. And I remember looking, at, and the thing is, I'm looking at him, looking at me. I've now gone to just like this. So I'm looking at him like this, and I'm like, Jess, are you seeing Koji like literally eye to eye with me right now? And Jess is now, what she's, did you say? Jess is in the frame, and she's like, you know, yeah, I can see it. <laughs> <laughs> it looks good though. <laughs> <laughs> that is hilarious. That was the last one, isn't it? That was the last that was the, one. That was the last time I saw you. And yeah. I was like, is this guy going to keep staying at me? Just come, let's talk, innit? Like, what's nah, it? Do you know what is? I was, I, I'm, I'm in those environments, I'm a very shy person. And I like that though. Mm. It's not every day shouts. Like, I, and I, like, I. Also, it's like, I feel like everyone's watching everyone. True. 
they're definitely watching you because you were looking fire that day. Try. If I don't rem- did you have your hair up that day? Yeah, I think I had it in a ponytail. Ah, I was a huge fan. Thank you. Now, do you know what it is? And it's even even going back to um like fashion awards. Mm-hmm. I'm mind my business. Like I'm not. People think, oh, I'm in all these parties or I'm in these spaces. I'm rubbing shoulders with all these people. I'm really not. Even to a point where like I'm I'm on stage hosting these awards, and someone from um I finished like hosting that little section. I go into the back, and um I'm getting ready. Someone knocks on the door. Like, oh, who is it? And it was like, this lady comes in. Edward Ennenfall would like to invite you to his after party. Wow. Now, in my head, I'm thinking, amazing. That's, like, sick. But also, this party's already been planned. Everyone already had their invites. <laughs> so I just wasn't going to get one. <laughs> if, if, I, if I didn't do well at this thing, I wasn't going to that party. So, like, in a way, it was almost like I was super appreciative of it because it was like, oh, now you've been accepted. Like, come, like, now you're involved. And a lot of the time when I'm in those spaces, I feel that like my imposter syndrome is on yeah. 10, where I'm like, ah, oh, like, do I even deserve to be in these rooms or whatever? And like, I've gone to the party and I'm around all of these like crazy celebrities. And I just want to hit the smoking area. Like, I just like to mind my business. I don't yeah. really like to like command too much attention like that. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, I'd rather observe the room. Do you know what I'm saying? So yeah, I think in that, in that space, no, nah, never. But do you know what? Yeah, this whole imposter syndrome thing has been uh, has been a theme across this conversation. Mm. And I just want to kind of say to you that I think you're doing so incredibly Thank well. You. And I know it's hard. I know it's hard to sometimes receive that because I think the way we chase things is like, but I could be doing better. Mm. I know I could be doing better because I know you see your end destination. You see your de- end destination and you're like, it doesn't even compare to here. But I think what I've learned this year is to just really take in the moments that we have achieved and not just like, not just receive it and then let it go, mm-hmm. but receive it and really grasp in it. One Indeed, of my biggest yeah. re- regrets this year, and I'll tell you, and why I've been trying to embody this is I did a live show this year um, at the O2 Indigo. It was my It was my first ever live show. It was amazing. I was so focused on working and performing that when I watched the videos back and I saw people jumping and cheering Mm. and celebrating, Mm. my biggest regret that I did not take one moment in that show. Yeah, to take it in. To take it in. Mm. It was was literally, I was like, I don't even remember this because I was like, there was a bit where people jumped up and were roaring after the dance battle. And I was like, okay guys, yeah, we're gonna move on to the next thing. I just was like, go, go, yeah, go, go. And 100%. I did not pause to receive the love mm. that was being thrown at me. So I think it's it's so important. Yeah, it's, easier said, it's, it's easier said than done. It reminds me of when I did um, Brixton Academy and it was like, I, the only two moments I remember is walking out, standing still, seeing everyone, mm-hmm. doing the show, as in like, the show could have happened in three minutes. Yeah. And then saying goodbye and hearing the applause as I'm leaving the stage and thinking, why does that whole moment feel like four minutes? Yeah, like, literally. You know I, mean? I was on stage for like an hour plus, but that whole memory in my head lasts about four minutes. It is really sad and it is really, really sad. And I feel like, I guess, I think you were talking about this uh, with Chucky. You used the word, you were like, is it the artist curse? Yeah. Yeah, the artist curse of being in a situation and having all these rec- these blessings and it's like, okay, yeah, thank you, Jesus. But then what's the next, next one? What's the yeah. next, what's the next, next one? Next one? Okay, next, we're yeah, going, 100%. we're going, we're going. 100%. But what what are you doing to, what are you doing to, to kind of combat that? How are you being more present? Or 2024, how should we be more present? Let's end with how we're going to be more present. In 2024? Yes. Um, don't, don't, don't kill your brain cells for this No, thing. it's because <laughs> I think, because it's, it's, for me, it's like, it's a, it's a real, it's a real thing that I struggle with. Yeah. Um, and and almost as I'm trying to figure out an answer, because I was almost just going to give like a PR. Just live in the moment, guys. Do you know what I mean? But yeah. like, but I think it's it's the um. There's a difference between saying you're going to do something and then actively doing something. Yeah. So I think it's it's almost like giving yourself the reminder to stop. Are you an affirmation girlie? I mean. <laughs> <laughs> are, are you are you no. what's your love language what's my love language 
Boy, um, someone because I, I I never know how to answer this. Someone said it must be um, uh, uh, quality time. It must be. I'm a quality time girly, but I feel like sometimes also it's good to ha- it's good to have a conversation with people around you, mm. and especially I I have friends that constantly re- that will happily remind me I'm doing well, and mm. I know it's it's it's, it's external, but. I feel like sometimes when we live in our own inner thoughts, because I struggle with it too, it's like, okay, yeah, it's great, but I could be doing better. But sometimes you need that friend or the love of your life, like mm-hmm. now, to, to pull you and be like, mm-hmm. babe, yeah. you're doing amazing. fucking amazing mm-hmm. and you're eating it and you're killing it. And mm-hmm. this year has been great for you. And sometimes that, you know what? Actually, yeah. I think, the, I think the toughest thing for me is where like, so I keep my r- normal life real normal. Mm-hmm. As much as like I've got friends in the industry or whatever, like those aren't the people I see every day. Yeah. So like my friends from school or college or just life or whatever, they like they're working and living just kind of like regular everyday lives. Mm-hmm. So now when I walk in and go, guys, I did this, this, and this, and this, and this, and this today. A part of me is like, oh, like, do you know what I mean? Like almost like I'm trying to like fake flex on my friends. Yeah. So I don't say anything. Do you know what I mean? And I do, it's almost like I don't give people the opportunity to turn around and say, I'm proud of you but for X, Y, and Z because they find out at the same time everyone else finds out when I post it. But at that point, I don't care anymore. Yeah. So then when they're giving me the congratulations, I'm like, all right. Because again, oh, it's cursed. I'm thinking about... The next thing. Do you get me? So like, it's almost even... To even answer the question before, it's, it's letting people into your wins as well. Yeah. The people close to you. And letting them feel happy for you as well rather than kind of like, sectioning it off and saying that nah, I'm not going to deal with that. It's CNT, baby. Right, I hope you guys have grabbed a drink. You've gone to the toilets. Do you know what? There's nothing worse than doing something fun and then midway you have to wee. <laughs> That's so, it's so dead. Every time I, every time I leave my house, I have to, I have to wee wee because wee wee and outside is so dead like especially when as you're a having girl, a good yeah. time yeah oh I yeah cop to the wind really i do boy, but... envy men that because they can just wee anywhere yeah, anywhere i went to coachella this is I'm, i don't think i've ever told this story have i ever told the story about the coachella thing hell i'd rather wet myself than pee in a festival toilet i know this i've never told the story because it traumatized me for a while for months i think this is the first time i'm sharing it's it. the perfect time i went to coachella mm-hmm. and i needed to wee hard hard <laughs> and obviously i've never been to a festival of this nature so i'm thinking like girl at least like where's the mcdonald's toilet like where's the mcdonald's looking toilet and in a desert it's in a desert so they had those f-ing stupid cubicle things mm. i was wearing these cargo pants and um i was re- i was i was on sh- you was on sugar i was on sugar <laughs> sugar spice and everything sugar spice and everything that's and um, I remember bending over to wee and the floor was wet and I and there was wee all over the toilet seat and I tried to, you know, do the air squat. Like, you know, you, you, do the, you like that's what the girls do. You do the air squat yeah. and I fell back onto the toilet seat. <laughs> Gives a whole new meaning to disco, Fanny, isn't it? This. <laughs> you know, I was in tears. You know, I was, and then, I was literally... <laughs> I was literally trying to clean my bum with the hand sanitizer. <laughs> I was in, I was crying and I was wiping my bum with hand sanitizer. <laughs> it was so bad. <laughs> 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 ain't no way, dog. Ain't no way, dog. Ain't no way. Was... <laughs> ain't no way, dog. That was so hard. <laughs> Honestly, I've never shared that story because I was traumatized for time. I said, nah, it makes sense. I can't yeah, talk about it. this. Mm. It was hell. But yeah, I would love to play a game with you. <laughs> no problem, babe. You know I'd love to play a game. It's not with your heart, though, so just keep that in mind. I've only got one heart. I'd like to have it. Yeah? Per. We'll talk. <laughs> right. <laughs> this game. So, we ask our hosts cultural questions, and this is the cultural questionnaire. So, I have to ask you something, Mr. Koji Radical. Talk to me. Are you smart? Dun, dun, dun. It felt better with like dramatic theme. It I mean, w- I feel like I'm, I'm cool. Like, I feel. Emmanuel will add it in somewhere yeah. again. Yeah, there you Baka. go. Explosion, explosion, explosion. Yeah, 
That yeah. way. That yeah. way. Yeah, you got that, Spoke yeah. Pack. The rock dancing in my palms. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the... mm. <laughs> good enough? Nah, give him, give him a little fire. Really. Give me a little palm fire. Please. That's so cool. <laughs> Are you smart? I like to think so. I like that. That's confident. confident yeah, I like, and I'd, I'd like to think so. Depending on what you're asking me, I'll tell you, some things don't make me smart. I, I, I don't watch Love Island. <laughs> Straight off That was back. one of the questions one time. I said, anyone could watch Love Island. You don't have to be smart to know who won. Tia. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, cool. So you know you 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 know the game. You know yeah, how yeah, yeah. I'm a fan of the show. You know you know the ropes. Yeah. You know how people have disgraced themselves on this thing. Mm-hmm. So it's my turn. Now I'm confident. I think you know it's, it's you can't just only be fine. <laughs> you gotta have some brain as well. Pause. Anyway. <laughs> It's the, it's the grapefruit um, Paloma, clearly, clearly. <laughs> so we've got six questions. You can only give me one answer for each question. You can't tell me Bobby, Susie, Adam, okay. Becky. Okay. Funke. And we've got lock in. So we've never had six. I don't think we've ever had someone that gets four marks on this whole show. I can't even, I can't even attempt to feel like I'm going to be the first. I can only hope. I can I'm only confident. Hope. We, we we never know. We might have. We, we might actually. You know, magic can happen. I mean, it's it's ho- it's the holidays, it's baby. The holiday season. It's the holidays, and it's always catered to the guests. So I'm so nervous. Ask me the first question. <laughs> Just wrap it up. Like the first question. Right. Must be peak. <laughs> question number one. What is the name of Black Sheriff's debut? album um because i don't know if it's the name of the album or the name of the song it's not kwaku the traveler or the hustler kwaku the hustler traveler kwaku quick <laughs> quick no quaking in my boots that's what i'm doing Whew. <laughs> <laughs> Whew. um so I can hear in my head. Traveler. He's traveled a lot of places. Is it the hassle? Is it the travel? He's a traveler. He's a traveler. He's Kweku the traveler. Are you locking that in? Lock in. We have Kweku the traveler. Is it wrong? It's wrong. That is incorrect. Ooh. The answer is, is the Asala? villain I never was. I was way off. Where did I get? <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't even close. <laughs> right, so we've got the Jesus. first Jesus. I know that oh, shit. Ha! Open the pump in it. What else? No. No, no. That looks like <coughs> tree core and water. What's supposed to happen with this? You're supposed, supposed to, drink, to it. drink it and take it all the way back to the back of your throat. Pause. Baby. To the, to the back Not of your throat. Camera. <laughs> Listen. <sighs> I'm a drink, man. Let me um, tell you. Oh, Jesus Christ. Is it pomegranate? What's this? Lychee? Uh, all right, so. What it is for the people that can't come across us, take a sniff. Right, so what you're getting is um, like like deep dark vinegar. Oh no. But like, <laughs> like <laughs> it tastes like the vinegar they give you, like not, it's not, this ain't chip shop vinegar. It's just like what they mix it with to water. Like this is like, they add water to this to make it edible. <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> Take it back. You ain't no bitch. Take it back now, y'all. Uh, one hop this time. Right. <laughs> 
You know the pep talk. Yes. <laughs> Digestible. How does that feel? How did that feel? Balsamic, baby. Balsamic, Balsamic. vinegar, you, vi- you villain. You villain. <laughs> you villain. You not the, not the, he had to off the jacket. He had to take off the jacket. <laughs> Question number two. What year was the iconic British music channel, Channel U, launched? If you come down to the woods today, today, today. Um, channel U. For people that don't know what yeah, Channel U think is why you're thinking and scratching your brain. Channel U is like this infamous channel. In it. <laughs> infamous channel and it was like the start of UK. Two thousand and four. Sorry. I'm trying to basically, I'm trying to be like, when did I first see power? Because I'm trying to think of when someone, you know how back in the day, they used to say the year on the tune? Yeah. I feel like I can hear Lethal B. Lethal the Bizzle Records. Lethal the Bizzle Records. Say 2004. So it wouldn't have been when power came out, it would have been before. 2003. Are you locking that in? Mm-hmm. 2003. Confident? Not at all. Just at this point, what else can you guys do to me? <laughs> How do we get any worse from vinegar? Boy. I would like to tell you that that is correct. Get something down your neck, mate. <laughs> this that looks, looks like a drink. It bro. does look like a drink. It looks like there's no danger in that whatsoever. It's even fizzing. It might be a lemonade, you know. This is a good thing. <laughs> this is a thing. And I'll flip. <laughs> it might. Mm. So, so good. Wow. No. Ah! <laughs> I said count to ten. See so, y'all, yeah, what was that? Stress. That was Sprite. Oh, fabulous. Sprite Zero? Yeah. Even keeping me skinny. That's great. Thank you. Thank you, Tony. Tony. But you got it right. You got <laughs> it right. So. <laughs> okay. Big up. Big up vinegar. Question number three. Does sound travel faster in air or water? The sound travel faster in air or water. It would, I mean, logically speaking, it would travel faster in air. Because, yeah, it would travel faster in air. air. Are you yeah, locking? Air, locking in air. And this is a trick question, mate. It's like, oh, fun fact travel faster in water. But that's just, that seems illogical in my mind. Yeah, locking well, it in. Locking it in. Well, I'm here to tell you a fun fact. <laughs> Whatever you love, man. <laughs> Silly show anyway. <laughs> Sound travels faster in water. Obviously, when you have the whales and that, and the dolphins and that, and the fish and that. You put ketchup in it. There's tomato in here. <laughs> But like the 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 butters, you know, like you know how like a bloody Mary smells. It smells like that, but not nice. A bloody Mary's nice. Not the tongue. I see Zizi do it, and I'm like, Nah, Zizi one was funny. <laughs> no one screenshot. <laughs> <laughs> and now, honestly, all the all the horny girls that just that just said you horny you you honey lady, you better delete that snap <laughs> that screenshot. You horny girl. (laughs) 
finished. It's not finished. It's not finished. It's not finished. <laughs> <laughs> it's not finished. My lawyers will be calling you. See, <laughs> what is that? Um, that was tequila and ketchup. Oh no! I knew it. Tequila I knew it. and made ketchup. It, the only thing that made it all right was the tequila. Tequila and tomato juice it. and ketchup. Shaked. This is how they treat their guests. Uh, this is terrible. Joyce gets Sprite. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. You see, sometimes in life, it's good to be wrong. Yeah. It's good. Sometimes it's good to be wrong. We've got, so it's this one, yeah. So we've got four, five, six. <clears throat> Question number four. Guess the song. I like guess the song. Wait, before I guess this, yeah. <laughs> <coughs> this is it a trick or a treat? Huh? This is, not, so is it a trick huh? or a treat? Mm-hmm. I don't know. I seriously, I, oh, I never know. Sprite. I never I'm know. I'm livid. <laughs> Sprite zero to be precise. Guess the song. So I'm going to give you three lines from the same song. Okay. But I can no longer depend on it. I become my worst, my own worst enemy. I'll say that again because my English failed me. But I can no longer depend on it. I become my own worst enemy. The next line is, but I'd rather be alone than to have a fake friend. Then the next one is, I'm the one. You say I'm the one. You want me to say it again? <laughs> yeah, please. <laughs> but I can no longer depend on it. I become my worst. Mm? It's okay. But I can no longer depend on it. I become my own worst enemy. The next line is, but I'd rather be alone than to have fake friend. Then the next one is, I'm the one. You say I'm the one. What's the second line? But I'd rather be alone than to have fake friends. I empathise with that line because Tia, what are you doing? There was nice for what? Drake, Drake, nice for what? It's easy got Drake, nice for what? And you've given me this. But she still got it wrong though. That's that's. I was at home just going easy, easy all day. I'm sat at home looking at Tiger lyrics, thinking maybe she might get a bit. Get me try go deeper in the young money tree, and I get this. Mm-hmm. Don't know it. Just give me the shot. <laughs> Couldn't even begin to tell you who that was sung by. Like, oh, it might be Sisa. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> Have no fucking clue. Sounds like a Lady Gaga lyric for all I know. I don't know. Oh, I'm... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Tia. You know what? Wow. You, watched you was on my Christmas list. <laughs> <laughs> you was. <laughs> Past you know tense. You know what's so funny? I'm sure you watched previous episodes and you come in and you thought... This is my time. Have what? What? So you're drinking shots, 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 shots. <laughs> it's, 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 right, I've we've been got no shagged, answer. hoodwinked, and bamboozled. You're gonna be, you're gonna be disappointed in yourself. I promise you, I'm not going. Tell me what it is. Libyanka people. I do like that song, but not one of those lyrics was from the chorus. Bad man. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Because so we all know the part of that song that we know. <laughs> <laughs> there are some people in in the Bumba Club home, them people, them, that knew that. Say say one, I couldn't even tell you the melody of one of the, go on, say, go on. What's the first line? Sing it to you. <laughs> Sing. Sing Hum it. it. What's the melody? Joyce, this is your show, huh? Go on, what's the first line? Just read it to me again. Because you struggled to read it. <laughs> but but I was but supposed to I just can know no it. No longer depend on it. Mm-hmm. I become my own worst enemy. Okay, now in the context of that tune, where does that come? <laughs> right. So which one is it? Because that's what we're doing on <laughs> Madam Joyce's cocktails and takeaway. I've only taken away trauma. Okay. <laughs> which one is it? Eeny, meeny, miny, miny, miny. It must be this one. You know I'm in. F- <laughs> Okay, at least, at least. <laughs> what is 
is it? Chaser. That's what it is at this point. It's Coke. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad it out to here. Because if I got that Express. right, if I got that right, and you had Sprite followed by Coke, <laughs> Joyce, I would have f***ed this place up. I am in tears. I was better off getting it wrong. Do you know what? Like I said, sometimes it's okay to be wrong. The blessing of <laughs> the blessing of wrongness. Okay. Right, we've got two shots left. Come on, then. <laughs> we've got two shots left. Right, question number five. This is a fashion one. Does that make you feel confident? Not at all. What about if I tell you it's multiple choice? Love a bit of multiple choice. One and three. You ready? Love it. What is the name of the designer who popularized the little black dress? Is it A, Kristen Dior, B, Versace, Versace, no. or C, Coco Chanel? It's, the, it's not B. It's A or C. A little black dress, a little black dress. It was number one, Dior. Yeah. Coco Chanel. Are you locking that in. in? I'm locked in. And do you like a lady in a little back dress? Is that your Depends on where the dress is. Is it on her own on the floor? It depends. How the night went in it. Huh? Depends on how the night went in it. It depends on how the night went. It always starts on. Always starts on. Always always starts on. Always starts I wore on. a little black dress the other day. How did it that was my go? first did time. Did it start on? It started on. Where did it end up? Still on. You weren't there to take it off. Good answer. That'd be a gross one to you. Finish her off. No, she deserves something peak. I know, <laughs> bro. That is correct. Well done. 100%. Not course it is. Is this not your first one, right? Second. Second one. Oh, only two. <laughs> <laughs> I already know what this is. Why are they always clear? You're so fake. What is it? I believe it's either lime juice. I can see the bits. Lime it's juice. of a lime juice. No. Oh! What the f is that? What the f is that? <laughs> what the hell? That's not lime juice. <laughs> Oh. That's not lab juice. That's one of them spells that stays in your nasal passage. What is that? Like, like it's attached to Have your, we had like, this before? Follicles. We've never had this before. Have I had it no, before? No, this is when, no, I know this is, this is, this is a mixologist. <laughs> <laughs> this is Tia in a mixologist bag. She thinks she you, nigga. <laughs> she thinks she you, dog. <laughs> what the f crackily? Hold your nose, knock it back, baby. Mm -hmm. What is it? Go on, Tia. Tell us. Break us the, break the news. Um, that was pickle onion juice or pickle onion vinegar. <sighs> she don't like you, man. My spirit is hot. It's impossible. It's impossible oh. to be loved by someone that will give you that. <laughs> it's impossible. Did you even hit the way the swallow? Ah. Uh? That was thick. It was all the vinegars. I've swallowed thicker. In fact, these ain't even, you didn't even got Marks and Spencers for these as well. These taste like the Audi ones. <laughs> big up Audi though. Best man, big up Audi. Big up Audi. We've got the last one. You know what, usually we actually have a thing on the show where the last one is usually the nice one. But I trust nothing. Tia might be, I don't trust anything either because what yeah. the hell was that? That tasted like, um, you know, Monster Munch pickled onion. Yeah. That's exactly what it tasted like, but liquid. I keep burping, sorry. Horror. <laughs> <laughs> Final question. Would you like me to go soft on you? Or would you like me to go hard? Soft, baby. I like it soft to you. Same. 
Question number six. Yeah. Spell the word sacrilegious. While my stomach is on fire. That's why I'm trying to think while I'm fighting the vinegar. Um, S. A C. Sac. Religious. R E. L. I G O U S. Are you locking that in? Fuck it. That is incorrect. <laughs> I feel like you guys have changed the spelling to no. spite me. <laughs> the correct spelling, you 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 mix the e and the i, so it was s a c r i l e g i o u s. One more time, one more time. S a c r i l e g i o u s. You said s a c e l i. That don't even sound right in my head. Okay. Wait. Adjudicators. Where's all the adjudicators? Because you men are going to try to kill me for what? For what? What have I done? <laughs> Sac. Rit. You got to take the last. Reli- re- religious. Sacrilegious. Yeah, there it is in black and white. There it is. Sacrilegious. There it is. That's the one. Tia's looking at you like, girl. There it is. It I is. went to school. It is right there. Look yeah. at it. Any other, anybody, other rebuttal? Any other fights? Anything else? Do you want to call your scholars? Your Oxford oh, friends? What does it mean? You want to double the check? The misuse of what is regarded as sacred. Like trust and safety. <laughs> That's what I thought was going to happen. I thought I could trust you guys and I'd be safe here. <laughs> and I was wrong. Just like I was wrong about the spelling of sacrilegious. So here we are. About to traverse down the, 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 the road into yes. despair and darkness. Yes. But I don't know what's under that cup. Neither do I. None and, of us know. Th- isn't that quite exciting? exciting? It could be a nice one. It could be a nice one. Petrifying, diabolical. Yes. Ghastly. Ghastly. Potentially. Who knows? Melancholy. That's what I'm going to feel. Yes. Right after taking or acquiring such a shot. Yes, indeed. Yes. I do agree. That's mm. quite um, fantastic, isn't it? My, my therapist told me yes. when I feel moments of deep trauma and stress, yes. I often break out into accent. <laughs> Is this the one that we are opting for? It seems so. Quite Bridgerton. Ye ye art thou. So are you going to take thy shot now, Koji? Yes. <laughs> Here we go. The unveiling. I don't know what this could be. It's given apple juice. It's also given like sorry, sniff test. someone that does that hasn't had drunk water in seven days and is wee weed. Almost what it smells like. <laughs> it smells like Emmanuel. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> it smells like. It, <laughs> it smells decent. It doesn't smell like a bad time. Okay. But it doesn't smell like a flavor I enjoy. It doesn't smell like a good time either. Do you know what smells like a good time? Smells like it. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Ooh. <laughs> no one's ever done that. No one's ever got the panty to the knees and gone, oh. <laughs> this is a great time. I can't, I can't wait to. Uh, <laughs> can't wait to dine in this restaurant. <laughs> Trace. This is why Dami said you're not smooth. You can't. That wasn't what you said that day. You got it was smoother than that. Was that I was, not? Sm- was I not smooth? That wasn't smooth. It wasn't smooth. Then, <laughs> I really thought I was. I thought I, I, thought was, it, killing it. I thought was killing it. So you no. just was laughing at me. No, no. That day you was, you killed it. Today, that last one, shocking. But <laughs> you'll be fine. Just why don't you just shoot me? You'll be on the back. <laughs> why don't you just shoot me? Why am I blowing on it like it's gonna do anything? Why don't you just shoot me? With what? Do you know what? Just drink the shot for you. What is it? Um, Lipton. Lipton oh, Lipton's? Tea. Okay, Lipton iced tea. I told you we like to end with a good one, because why not? Thank God, because my heart was racing, and <laughs> I, I really wasn't sure. Oh, it Tastes like okay. no sugar, no added sugar. No added sugar, plus sugar tax on top of that. Yeah. But Koji, so out of the six, you got two. 
you and ZZ aren't the same boats. <laughs> you and Who's ZZ. done the best? Who's done the best? Dami. Dami actually did the best. What did he get? Three? Four. 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 He got four. He, he, no. First of all, no, he didn't. <laughs> yes, he did. No, he didn't. Sorry, Dami. You know I love you. My man was changing, changing questions, asking for help and clues. You think I don't watch this show? <laughs> Oh, for idiot, Honestly. you must want to take me. <laughs> no. Sorry. Dummy had one. <laughs> Adjudicators are clearly not employed here. No, you Dummy actually did got good. Got mixologists, got producers, a sound guy. Where's your adjudicator? It's me. Hey. No. <laughs> <laughs> not you. You did this to me. <laughs> But thank you, Joseph. Had a lovely time. Thank you for having me. Do you know what? <laughs> Honestly, I've had such a fucking time. I've had such a time. I don't want it to end. We've got a cap now. Honestly, I kind of love it for us, but I hate it. Yeah. Because sometimes I'd have a great conversation <laughs> and it'd be like three, four hours long. Yeah. But yeah, then I now, don't know how many hours it's been? But it's been good. They they they've been cutting me tight now, so they're like, listen. Mm-hmm. After the you know, wrap it after. up. <laughs> You'll see tea in the back, like. But then I'm just like, yeah, and then basically that. Definitely, <laughs> that's how, that's how I, I be doing. But yeah, I want to say thank you so much for coming. Thank Where do so people much. find you on the internet? Um, type in Koji Radical and I'll probably be there. Mr. Koji Radical, it has been an absolute pleasure. Thank you for everyone for watching. You're going to see me soon on one of like Koji's songs. Come to a music video shoot or something. Oh my God, listen. Mm. I also have had a dream of being a music video girly. Is it? Black. Is it you want it? Uh, gonna, uh, something classy though. I don't want to be that. That's what I'm saying. I, can, I'm, I be, I can I be the love interest? Yeah, cool. I'm dead ass, you know. Okay. Well, let's think about it. <laughs> 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 but thank you so much for coming and guys, thank you so much for watching. We are going to be back next week with another bad boy or another bad girl. Oh yeah, and by the way, have a motherfucking happy new year. The f- I'm out! Thank you.